Hello, friends. Um, Brenda here. Hello. Just so you can see how small this little uh, vase is here, or uh, dome, I guess. Um, so I'm coming to you, um, and I want to show you a little something I have created for uh, that little mermaid ball jointed doll you may have seen around. Um, so I created this little, it uh, looks like it could be in an aquarium. Uh, it's about that same scale size as well. Um, I made it all from uh, aluminum foil as the internal structure and Sculpey clay as well. Uh, that's on the outside. I measured it uh, hopefully to fit the bottom base. Um, and then I should have been just a little more careful to put it, uh, just be a little skinnier inside. Um, and then made all the little creatures and things uh, separately, painted them and then glued them in. Uh, and then painted uh, everything. So a lot of it is airbrushed or uh, hand painted. Um, and then I uh, completed my Little Mermaid. So I'm just going to spin this around here to allow you guys to take a little look-see. Um, hoping it stays in focus. And we've got one little mermaid right in there. So these are absolutely freaking tiny. I'm going to put my finger in there so you can see and amazingly adorable. Oh my god, I need a million. Um, so small, uh, and like the arms bend, uh, the tail is jointed here, um, just, just beautiful. Uh, I thought they'd be harder to paint than they were. I have some eye issues. I used magnification, of course, is your friend. Uh, the wig, was a challenge. That was the biggest challenge of this whole project. But just a beautiful little doll um, and so awesomely on display. Now I knew I wanted the ability to be able to display her in different areas. Um, so I definitely uh, built this with some nooks and crannies um, in it. And what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to pop the top off of here and show you how I uh, worked. And we're going to go very carefully um, to do that. So I knew I wanted to be able to have my lovely little mermaid have places to not only sit, um, but to make it look like she's swimming around and very much like she's swimming around here having a good old time around the rocks. So how she's doing this, pardon for a little bit of jiggling here, um, is, and just super gentle, uh, magnets. Now she did have magnets in her head, which did stick to my inserted magnets, um, which were applied inside. I made the hole, baked it, and then put the magnets in with glue. Um, but on the back of her wig, I have uh, just a jump ring from jewelry, which was uh, magnetic. So I've just, oof, sorry, glued that in uh, onto her wig. Looks like a nice little hair decoration, but is nicely uh, magnetized to there. So she can look like she's swimming around. Now I've hidden magnets all inside of here. Uh, like for example, she could also go there. So. In this, I actually put magnets on each area of uh, the places I want extra little things to be. So this little brain coral here has one. Um, so if I wanted her to be a little more kind of up here, then we could have that look going on. And the brain coral could then cover up uh, that piece. So I can have a different look. Um, to my set here. Um, or if I were to have to get more mermaids, they could also go in these places. I just have to plan out their outfit. Now, this big sun star also hides some magnets. So, ha ha, uh, we have another place where our little mermaid could go 
to chill out and just be hanging out down here, do a little sunbathing or something. Um, so that's another place. Uh, we actually have one uh, up here as well. So gently, oh, yeah, there. So I have uh, the wig is uh, actually a wig cap and it is just attached to her head with a uh, fun tack or the poster tack. So she could also be kind of swimming out here. Um, and I really like this look. So she's really uh, independently floating. I didn't want to have to have something holding her because um, I would look just so unnatural. So she can be, I'm just gonna pose her here a little bit, really swimming underneath the rocks um, and having a great time. Uh, and yeah, so that looks super cool. Um, other places are uh, this guy here, right there. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that's all the ones I've hidden. Oh, wait, so this stone, and yes, our brain coral. So yeah, I inserted a lot of them um, to be hidden. Now, some of the other places that she can sit would be, um, so if I'm, I'm just folding her a little bit right here. So she can hang out with the sea anemones up here uh, and just kind of like take a little snooze. She could also be sitting in here, or she could be more dangerously trying to pluck pearls down here with the eel that's hiding in the back. So she could be sitting um, on these stones here. So yeah, I think, uh, I always think it's super fun when one doll can inspire much creativity. Um, so she can get like, down here somewhere. I'd have to repose her body. Um, but yeah, it can inspire such creativity. And if you guys wanted to do something like this, uh, you could definitely uh, work on it and uh, make your own kind of underwater cave or um, neat and interesting display as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this little peek. I'm going to rearrange my little, uh, little display here. And uh, yeah, definitely set her up again uh, to look neat and have some underwater adventures. So thanks for watching and uh, yeah, keep playing. Play every day.